hello everyone greetings to all in this video we are going to learn about the important values of shear force bending moment and deflection for simply supported beam under various loading conditions this is very important topic in competitive examinations lot of mcq questions are asked in, in previous examinations so please thoroughly uh, remember this topic and also we shared this material as a pdf in our website please kindly see our website and download it for your reference so now we will see the first condition a simply supported beam carries a udl that means what is the maximum bending moment the maximum bending moment is wl square by 8 and also at what distance they occur it occur at center so for a simply supported beam carries a udl means the maximum bending moment will occur at center only its value is wl square by 8 and next is and what is the deflection of a simply supported beam carries a udl throughout its length its value is 5 wl power 4 divided by 384 ei please 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 you remember this one the maximum deflection value 5 wl power 4 divided by 384 ei because don't confuse with other deflection values and also it occurs at center only the reactions are r equal to wl by 2 so these three are important values for a simply supported beam carries a udl throughout the length means its maximum bending moment value is wl square by 8 and its maximum deflection value is w 5 wl power 4 divided by 384 ei the shear force values that is reactions at both ends are equal to wl by 2 now we, we will move to the next condition that is a simply supported beam carries a triangle load that is at support r1 it, its value is 0 and at support r2 the load value is w as shown in the figure 5 so in this case what is the maximum bending moment value the bending moment value is 2 w divided by 9 root 3 please remember 2 w divided by 9 root 3 and it is occur at a distance of 0 0.5774 l it is very important the maximum bending moment will occur at, sen at 0 0.5774 L for simply supported beam carries a load increasing uniformly to one end and also the maximum deflection value is 0 0.1304 WL cube divided by EI it occurs at a distance of 0 0.5193 L the reactions are R1 equal to W by 3 at 0 end that is it carries a zero load and the reactions are W by 3 and it carries a W means at end its reactions are R2 equal to 2 W divided by 3. So in this case, the maximum bending moment is 2 W divided by 9 root 3 and, uh, and it occurred at a distance of 0.5774L or L by root 3 and also the maximum deflection value is 0.1304 WL cube divided by EI. It is occurred at a distance of 0.5193L. It is a triangle load at one end its value its load value is zero and at, at another end is its load value is w now we will we will move to the next condition that is a simply supported beam carries a load increasing uniformly to center it is also one of a triangle load you can see in the figure six so in this case what is the maximum bending moment the maximum bending moment is w l divided by six and also it occur at center the maximum deflection value is 5 wl cube divided by 60 ei it is occurred at center the shear force values or the reactions at supports are equal to w by 2 so these three values are very very important the maximum bending moment value is w by 6 wl by 6 and the maximum deflection value is wl cube divided by 60 ei now we will move to the next condition a simply supported beam carries a concentrated load at center please remember 
whenever a single concentrated load acts on a simply supported beam means that point only carries a maximum bending moment and the maximum deflection value so in this case it carries a concentrated load at center p the maximum bending moment is pl divided by 4 and the maximum deflection value is pl cube divided by 48 ei the maximum bending moment and shear force values are occurred at center the reactions at both ends equal to p by 2 now we will move to the next condition simply supported beam carries a concentrated load at any point that is shown in the figure 8 the figure 8 the simply supported beam carries a point load at a distance of a from r1 and at a distance of b from r2 so in this case what is the va value of maximum bending moment the maximum bending moment value is pab divided by l and the maximum deflection value is p a square b square divided by 3 e i l the reactions at r1 equal to p b by l and the reactions r2 equal to p a by l so the maximum bending moment is occurred at under the point load now we will move to the next condition a simply supported beam carries two equal concentrated load symmetrically placed that is shown in the figure 9 two equal concentrated load p is placed at a distance of a from r and also at a distance of a from r so in this case the maximum bending moment value is p a simply remember two equal concentrated load symmetrically placed means its maximum bending moment value is p a and also the maximum deflection value is p a divided by 24 e i into 3 l square minus 4 a square in this case the maximum bending moment will occur at between the loads not at center it is in between the loads the reactions at both ends are equal to v equal to p thanks for watching this video i think this is very useful for uh, our kind of examinations and also for your uh, civil engineering preparations please download this material as a pdf in our website and we will see in another video thank you